I'm playing catch up and going through all the information that Hunter did in his recent interview on his father, Andrew's channel. If I must be honest, I find his version harder to believe this time, compared to his first interview with Chris McDonough. There have been multiple changes, but one in particular that stands out is that in this interview, he seems more careful about throwing Don and Candace under the bus. He even talks about how they interacted with the kids, saying he didn't witness any abuse. They would take away electronics or put them to stand in a corner, normal parenting things when the kids acted out. He also said they loved their kids and would never sell summer. A lot of signs point to Don Wells being home that day, and of course not forgetting the phone call that Hunter keeps bringing up. Don apparently called Candace and told her about a man on the property wanting to touch the little kids. Don was supposed to be at work, how would he know what was going on at home? Hunter states in his latest interview that this call did take place, and that they got the man off the property. A massive question now remains, who are they? Was Don with someone at home? I feel this is vital to the case. Was Don fetched by someone at work and brought home? Who is they? Take a listen. Phone with anybody else other than Don that day. Some dude. Huh? Uh, she was on, she was on the phone with Don with some dude. So that uh that I guess was just some random dude was walking around her house. All right, so some random fuck stick that was hanging around the property. Yeah, she, they was he was just letting her know that he kicked her off. They kicked him off the property. Right. And her know that he kicked her off. They kicked him off the property.